Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to do some pineapple fashion. I've been obsessed with pineapples this summer as you can tell and I've been able to design this pineapple t-shirt but today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute pineapple pins that you see on the collar of my shirt. These pineapple pins are super adorable. I just love how they turned out and you can even add a chain if you want to give it a little bit added detail. I like to place them on my collar and if you have a closed collar, you can add the chain like I did earlier, like on this top I have here and as you can see it provides a really nice accent. If you are interested in purchasing this t-shirt that I helped design with Tee Public, I will provide a link below and you can buy this adorable design if you so choose. But let's go ahead and start the tutorial on these pineapple pins. You're going to need some shrink plastic. I bought mine at my local craft store but I'll provide a link to Shrinky Dinks so that you can purchase it online if you can't find it. And you need to set your inkjet printer to print out on premium glossy paper which is kind of like printer paper. And of course you're going to need your pineapple image. I of course hand drew mine and colored it on my own computer but you can find different pineapple images online. Go ahead and print your pineapple image on your Shrinky Dink paper. So this is the first batch of pineapples I created. I'm just going to cut along the edges so that it looks really nice and clean. The thing is, is that the Shrinky Dink papers actually shrink about the third of the size. This pineapple in particular is about four inches in diameter. It's actually a little bit too large and as you can see, the ink when I printed out kind of blurred a little bit. So I made a few modifications. I went ahead and baked these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and it only takes about a minute to bake. As you can see, it starts shrinking and curling. Do not take it out of the oven yet until it's completely done shrinking. So as you can see here towards the end, it kind of flattens out on its own. And then you can take it out of the oven. So this is what my first batch looks like. As you can see, the color is deepened and it's a lot smaller. If you turn the piece to the side, you can tell that the piece is actually a lot thicker. So it's turned into a pretty solid piece of plastic. I decided to make a few modifications to this. It's a little too large for me and it's a little bit too dark. So I went ahead and turned the transparency up to 50% and this lightens the image. And I also made it smaller to three inches in diameter instead. I went ahead and print out my pineapples and as you can see there are other images so I don't waste the paper at all. And I went ahead and cut them out. My new pineapples are smaller and lighter. And as you can see the edges are printed out much better. I went ahead and baked them so this is the first batch and this is my second batch as you can see they're smaller and lighter. I think these smaller pineapples will fit on my collar better so what I'm going to do is just hot glue a pin on the very back so I can pin it onto my collar. I just use some hot glue because they're very easy and you can buy some of these back pins at your local craft store. They come in different shapes and different sizes. If you don't find them you can actually use earring backs and you can just put them on your collar like so. I think this is a great way to add an accent to your outfit and I love that it matches my t-shirt because it puts everything together in my perspective. Now if you want to take it a step further and add a chain, it's really easy. All you need to do is just get an extra gold chain. You can recycle a necklace that you no longer wear or buy a chain at your craft store. And all you have to do is put the chain onto the back pin and you can just put the back backing on your pin and it will keep the chain in place. I think adding a chain to your pineapple pins really adds a lot to your outfit. I think it gives it a little bit of more character and can really accentuate your collar. With or without a chain, I think these pineapple pins are super adorable. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really simple and fast and I hope you find it really useful. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Instagram. My username is FlyingMeo. You can check out some extra pictures there. And for my viewers who have been eyeing this t-shirt and would like to purchase one on their own, you can go over to Tee Public. I'll provide a link below where you can purchase this t-shirt that I designed of an adorable pineapple. I think a great way to fashion this t-shirt is to add it with a collared shirt. That way it adds a little bit of pop of color and it helps updress this t-shirt. But you can wear it as a regular shirt as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!